This video will discuss how to enter a achievement and award for a bowler bowled in a league. So, bowler shoots 300 in a league. The first thing you want to do is, is get the paperwork. Once the paperwork is submitted, you're going to have all the information you need to enter the information into the program. And then once you enter it, create and send a new transmittal so that it gets to headquarters so we can begin the process of approving it and fulfilling it. So let's say a 300 was shot in Foxview Lane. So we're going to click on Foxview and in the Monday night mixers. So we're going to go into the Monday night mixers by double clicking. Let's say that Mary Westfall shot a 300. So what we want to do is click on her name and click on the awards button. And the way the awards button looks is that it displays based on the criteria you select. Most of the time, all yours is selected. And what we're going to do is she submitted her form, completed out, and you're going to enter the information off of it. So we're going to click on new. And we are going to begin the process. Now, the first thing it does is it remembers what league you're in with the league certification, the center cert, and everything else. Now, we're, it also remembers the last time that an award was entered. So we are going to say that um, Mary shot this on January 5th of 2019. And we're going to say that we received it on January 20th of 19. So we'll enter those two dates. Now, the next question is, what did she do? Well, she shot a 300. So we're going to go to the achievements and we are going to enter the 300 game. And the next thing that you notice is a button popped up that said other info. We're going to click on other info and we're going to fill out the information that is listed here. Now, the ball manufacturer, these are the, the manufacturers. If there's a manufacturer on here that's or not on here that the bowler used, you can just go ahead and type it into the ball manufacturer. But we're going to say that she used a motive. Turbo. I don't know if that's a ball or not, but we're just going to say that it's motive turbo. Now, the home association information is where do you want the ring delivered if you're going to send it to the association? Um, this is used a lot of times if the bowler is just coming into your association, but you know that they bowl more in another association, you can direct it to another association. But in this case, we're going to have it go to this association. So we're going to hit save. All right, now it's asking the games one, two, and three. If you're dealing with a game award, you only need to enter one game. If you're dealing with a series, it needs all three. So it doesn't really need this information because it's not part of the criteria for a 300. A 300, all you need is a 300 game. So, but it is going to ask for the average, and we're going to say that this person's average is a 195, and it has 27 games in that average. It's going to ask if the bowler used the left or the right hand average, and then you're going to come down and you're going to pick the award. Now, as you look at this, there's a lot of options here. And the bowler will, se will select what he or she wants for an award. You'll notice that the 300 multiple is here. If the bowler has already had a 300 and it's showing in Winlabs, the multiple will come up. If the bowler has a 300 in another association, you won't know about that. But the bowler should be selecting multiple on the paperwork, and then you could just use multiple as the option. But seeing as though this bowler hasn't had a 300, we're going to go through and we're going to select the Prestige 10 Karat Gold USBC ring. The reason why we're going to do the, the lady one. The reason why um, I'm doing this one is because I want to discuss upgrades with you. So once you pick the award that the bowler has selected, you go to the order info, and it gives you all the options of things that you can do to this ring. First thing you're going to need is the ring size, and we're going to say that she's a seven. Now, you can add personalization, 
and that would give you two lines of information and the number of scores if you want to enter it. So we're going to say that she wants it personalized and we're going to say Fox in, in line one and we're going to say Monday in line two just to indicate what center and what night she bolted. The bowler can enter anything they want within the limitations of characters that Keepsake has designated. The number of scores is the number of 300s that this bowler has shot. Now you could do first, or you can leave it blank by just hitting a space bar. Now, at this point, we choose the top design. This type of ring has several options for top design. Um, and all these have an additional charge. And when you upgrade a ring, whether it's be the metal or the type or the stone, whatnot, you just fill out the information that the bowler picked. You don't take the money. What will happen is when you transmit this, to, transmit this to headquarters, we will send the information to Keepsake and Keepsake will contact the bowler, verify their selections and collect the money. So let's say this bowler wants the bowling ball design with the 10 carry yellow gold with diamonds, okay? And that's all we need to do there. Now, so these are all the options that this bowler selected. At this point, you check the box saying that the member signed the application verifying the choice of award, spelling of name, and size of award. The reason for this is this indicates that you look at the form, you put the information that they selected, because if there's a doubt, we'll come back to looking at this information to make sure it was entered properly. So you're going to check that and you're going to hit save. If you have a local award attached to the 300, it'll appear here and you can select it. And this is the USBC fulfillment option. Where do you want USBC or keepsake? to mail the award. It can go directly to the bowler, which is what the default is. It can go to the league for presentation. It can go to the association for presentation, or it can go to another address. If you choose of the, any of these options, it's going to ask you to go to the address field and fill in the information so that you can decide where it's going to go. But in this case, it's going to go to the bowler. And then the one last thing is it says that the application was assigned, signed by the official. So you're going to check that. And now it doesn't automatically flip the status. So if you go to the status button, it'll tell you if there are any claim rules that are violated, any missing data that you need to, to go through and enter, but it gives you a picture of what needs to be done, if anything. Otherwise, the status is going to change to waiting to be transmitted for the national awards. You're going to hit save. And we're going to save and close because we don't have anything more to do here. Now, the next steps that will occur is you're going to create a, and send a new transmittal. USBC is going to approve the ring and then send the information to Keepsake. And in the case of an upgrade, the bowler will be contacted by Keepsake and a payment arrangement will be made. If there's if the bowler is accepting the standard ring that has no upcharges, Keepsake will make the ring and ship it to wherever US, wherever the bowler or the association has indicated it needs to go. So that is how you process an achievement and an award for a bowler in one lapse.